What is going on guys, this is your boy Too Fast Too Slick here. Today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Infinite Warfare. Today's video is going to be about the brand new contracts and bounties that came out on Infinite Warfare. Now last video I did about this, the grand prize of keys, because I know that's what mostly everybody is into, the keys in this game, and the salvage. They gave us up to 180 keys from contracts and bounties, which was insane. Um, this contract, it, it ain't really much too special is the striker gear hack and everybody has different challenges to complete to get this reward obviously but the other one is contains a legendary sniper rifle or a legendary sniper hack which means you could pretty much get any legendary sniper in the game i don't know if it's dupe pr protected or duplicate protected that if you guys don't know what dupe protected is it means that if you already have it you can't get it that that way you get a new like a new version of the sniper or, or yeah I don't know if, it, if it's the same thing with the striker gear, but yeah, this contract really ain't that special. I don't see why anybody would go for it unless you're a sniper. With, in that case, it would be good. But let's go to zombies. Let's go to the bounties because that's what I'm really looking forward to. Because the bounties, they really never failed us. They haven't failed us yet ever since they came to the game, which was recently. And look at this. For me... I had to earn 100 trap kills to get 90 keys, which is an insane amount of keys. This is like one of the very few times they actually gave us this high of a reward. That, it was this week and last week they gave us this high of a reward, which is insane. The other one I haven't completed, but I am going to complete. I'm not going to, I'm not too worried about it because it's only 250 salvage, but it is salvage I could put to good use because I still haven't gotten everything in the game. So, I'm definitely going to work on that because, like, look at this. All you got to do is use the magic wheel 15 times. If you guys don't know what the magic wheels wheel is, I don't even know if I know what it is because I don't really play zombies much. But I think it's, like, the box where you just get random weapons in it. And, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. So, um, if you guys haven't done this yet, if you guys haven't checked the bounties, because I know some people just go on the game, check the contracts, and if they're bad contracts, they just keep on pl playing multiplayer clueless because some people really don't check bounties anymore like some people just get the game for zombies and some people just get the game for multiplayer which is cool but if you go to zombies and you complete these challenges you get stuff for, for multiplayer too and if you play zombies and you open up the crates from zombies you can get stuff in multiplayer too which is a win-win for both sides so whatever you like to do play zombies or play multiplayer you could win either way so it really doesn't matter you could put the keys used to zombies you could put the keys used to multiplayer so i highly recommend going for these challenges because it's absolutely insane if you guys did have the same challenge that i did to get 90 keys um what's it called uh oh one other problem too people that couldn't find the rewards this page that i am right now or that it was before that's where you actually claim your reward when you finish it but Please enjoy the rest of this video. This is just gameplay of me getting the easy 100 trap kills. Like I said, if you have the same challenge as me, you can go on Raven the Redwoods. This is a requirement for me. I don't know what map you guys get, but for me, it was earn 100 trap kills. The requirement was to play on Raven the Redwoods map, the zombie map, which is a DLC map. So I don't know if you guys have the DLC or if, I mean, if you don't have the DLC, I'm pretty sure it won't give you this challenge because obviously you don't have the map. But if you do have this challenge with the same requirement, this is an easy way to get the uh, the trap kills. You can just alternate to one trap to another, which is the dance floor. And then this one, this little machine here, I forgot what it's called, but it just eats the zombies up really quick. But yeah, please enjoy the rest of this gameplay. It's just going to be me just getting kills and completing the challenge here. You can see I got it. But you, here you can see me just alternating from machine to machine, getting this bounty and getting the 90 keys. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. This is an easy way to get keys and salvage. Um, yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, it's been slick.